Hey folks, Crazy Marty here. How you doing today? Uh, today we're going to talk to you a little bit about a weather radio for your trailer. Uh, it's something that you might want to consider having. One that receives the what they call the SAME uh, tone codes. So that way if there's a tornado coming or a fire or hail or something of that nature, at least you may get a chance to be warned before it actually hits you, which is a good idea. Uh, this is made by Midland. This is the, what is it, the WR120, I believe. It's a good little radio. Um, I know a lot of people have talked about their radios in their trailers not working. Uh, Midland does make some, some little antennas for that. They have like a pass-through window antenna thing. You stick one part on the inside, one part on the outside. Well, I'm going to help you or show you how to make a a cheap antenna because those those little antennas that they sell they're like 30 bucks and if you have a piece of rg58 coax laying around and a uh, rca end you or any kind of wire really you can make your own dipole antenna and stick it up inside along the window and uh it won't uh hardly cost you a thing so let me go ahead and show you how i built this and uh so like right now let me go ahead and right now we'll turn this on as you can hear I don't have any station that's you know even with their even with the little stock antenna you won't get anything inside of this aluminum Faraday's cage that we're in so uh, what you got to do is you got to add on uh, an external antenna and I just happen to have one right here that I've already pre-made and set up Now we have weather radio. Of course, the station that I set this up on, uh, I picked this really far away station just so I could make sure that I set the antenna up correctly and uh, had everything ready to go. So let me show you how to build the antenna. And it's pretty simple. Take you about an hour or so. It's a simple dipole antenna. Now this is what you call a basic dipole antenna. This antenna is tuned for the frequency of 162.100 megahertz, which is what your uh, weather stuff operates on. It operates on 162 to uh, 162.55 megahertz. It just depends on your area. There's seven channels. Uh, so what we have here is we have a center insulator, and then we have our coax wire, which you just solder the center tip to one, one arm of the the wire and then your ground gets soldered onto the other side. Now the most important thing about an antenna is the length of it. So the length, one length, one side of it to the other, so it is what two foot ten and a half inches. So yeah we have a total of two feet ten and one half inch from one end to the other. Uh, each arm or each uh, part of the antenna legs there or the the, the radials is one foot 5.3 inches so you know I mean you can get it nice and close uh, and that'll that'll get you working another important thing to know is how to run your coax you want to run your coax wire basically you want to go straight down as straight down as you can for at least you know a minimum of one quarter wavelength because this is a quarter wavelength uh, dipole antenna so if you take one quarter and you tie it by four you'll be about five foot something when you get to a full wavelength which then you get a lot of gain versus a, uh, a quarter wave but since we're limited on space we have to do what we can so we run the wire straight down until we get everything down and then up and out of the way you know I've got it all hidden up in here and then I run the snake it up here blah 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 and there it is so one thing you'll want to do when you're setting this up is you're going to want to find a a station that is hard to hear or you don't hear it and then connect your antenna up and then install install all your antenna and everything while it's on that far distant station the one that's all staticky and crackly the one you can just barely hear that way you know you're getting the best reception possible out of your little antenna there you go folks, that's how you make your weather radio better in your horse trailer or in your RV. Uh, like I said, they do make factory type of antennas, but you know, 
ever, you, you'll see the reviews online. People say, oh, it's good. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's, it doesn't work with dual pane windows. Only works with single. But yes, it only works with single pane windows. And yes, there are. I mean, this is this is old school radio. This is VHF here we're talking about. So you literally have to move things around in order to get it to receive. It's just like old rabbit ears on dad's television. So in the meantime, I'm Crazy Marty. Hit the subscribe button. They took away the little bell ding-a-ling button. So that kind of is a bummer. Uh, but anyways, Crazy Marty here. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. And uh, oh, we're going to start. Uh, we're going to be going and doing generator emergency deployment on generators so if you guys might be interested in making some money out there on the road in your rv uh if you have a four-wheel drive that's diesel we may have a, a, a we may have something for you uh anyways it's good pay it's something to do and it's uh all on call crazy marty i'll talk to you guys a little bit later make sure you look for that video coming up soon Bye bye